Well, here we are. The Battle of St. Louis. Pretty even odds and so forth. Uh, the battle kind of started yes, well, it did start yesterday. A little late in the day to uh, get much of anything done. So we spent the night marching, trying to find the Union. Uh, they were up here somewhere in the northeast. We found at least um, one full brigade here, and I know that there's another one behind it. I saw it briefly on the, the mini-map. So that's where things stand at the moment. Right, move you up. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get into this railroad. As I think you all know, it provides some cover, and some cover is better than no cover. So uh, that's what we're doing. Since the artillery was already pretty close to it, I'm going to have them get in and start whaling away. The plan is to have the two units of cavalry. Greg isn't much use, less than a 1,000 men, mixed cavalry weapons. But I don't think we need these scouts anymore uh, but slacks brigade more than twice as large with Colt revolvers uh, revolving rifles should be a lot better at at close range I will see uh, we don't need that we don't need the mounted no, seriously we don't need a mounted there we go. We'll get them out loose. And, uh... Yeah, so there's the smaller brigade. That's 955. They're about 12,000 on each side. That's 3,400. That's a big... A big old unit there. Uh, don't... I don't love them... I don't love the cavalry going in on its own without... Some sort of support. Though somehow Greg's brigade just went over a thousand. I don't know how that's possible, but it happened. Alright. They're there. Uh slack we're gonna have out a little bit further. And my hope is always to try to get them to kind of attack. What I say is in, in, in echelon, but just basically get them to attack piecemeal. Uh, considering we have even odds, that's probably the best I can hope for. I think on both sides, there are several units who have been engaged before, but there are others who haven't. So for Slack, even though they have great rifles, um, it's their first engagement. Greg was in before, but they did not. They did not win the small arms lottery because there weren't enough to go around. So, anyways, that's how it is. And I think that I think this is the army I, I, I beat before outside of St. Louis. Or maybe it was in St. Louis. doesn't matter. And um, they have been up north for a while. And uh, I guess because Price's army was south of here, building a supply depot to try to make it easier to move around in uh, western Kentucky, even parts of maybe northern Arkansas. It just did not. They, they thought that they saw an opening, uh, and uh, they sent troops in. Yeah, you move there. Give me my skirmishers over here. Fortunately, they are very tired. Kind of hoping that's true on the other side as well. Okay, they need to form... Oh, they're already moving. Well... You can halt. Okay, so there's another big Union Brigade out here. 2,700. So that's making me think that, that, that this is just about all of their force... Don't know where that artillery is yet. I'll probably find out the hard way soon. But, uh, yeah, that's where things stand.
They're there. Okay, they cannot or should not go there. Uh, ba 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 ba. You know what? At the risk of getting in the artillery's way, I think we'll, we'll just move them. But yeah, now that I think just about every infantry unit is at least upgraded to reboard muskets, we should have. We should not be at the range disadvantage uh, I was in previous battles. So at the very least, there is that. And that might actually just be the very least. All right, so you have skirmishers out. You're tired, but it is what it is. Okay, you have long range. That's great. And these guys need to turn. Maybe. Maybe not. They need to go over there. They need to step up there. And I'm kind of thinking spend no more time on this. Once the uh, infantry units are no longer very tired, we may just press them forward since. Looks like some of their units are still back here and are tired. I can see that their artillery is in all the wrong places. Uh, we got a chance to press them here. Let's see, these guys are... No, oh, they're not really marching, but... They're well rested, they're just tired, and they're very tired, so it's getting closer. I'm worried about this group, cannot seem to figure out their facing. Okay, now fix your facing. There you go. <laughs> oh my goodness. This this bodes poorly. guys are well rested. Since they have the longest route to go, I guess I'll get them started. Might have moved up too far. But it's not going to be long before that artillery starts letting off. <sighs> All right. We can't just sit there and get shot, so we'll at least try to push their skirmishers back. Tell me you're doing more than this, guys. 
Should be shooting. Okay, they moved up. Should be shooting. There they go. Alright. Alright. Regular old tired is gonna have to be good enough. The exhausted or very tired, I guess, can stay, but. Everyone else needs to move. We lost some skirmishers. Alright. Again, I don't love sending these guys in without infantry supporting the attack, but time is what it is. These guys are good, so we'll move them up. They're supposed to be good, so we'll move them up. I don't think they're actually firing. Okay, they actually are. Alright, both these units are tired, but... Again, we're kind of just going to have to go with the crew we have. Oh boy. Gotta get close enough you can do some damage here. Why are you not firing? Guys, gotta start shooting, man. There you go. I almost wonder what happens if I put them kneeling, but... I've heard there's a damage reduction, but... Uh, don't tell me you guys are in the way. There you go. Shoot it out. I hope that six casualties is really low.
my god. These guys are terrible. Like, shoot at something, man. I'm gonna do you guys a favor and just get you at it. I don't know what they're doing. Jeez. My goodness, these guys are just slow every way. They, they cannot do anything right. Not say that I'm surprised at all. Alright. I think that brigade is probably done. Now we just need to turn our skirmishers to face this one. You can see how things are rolling. Yeah, I'm not surprised they were not that great. I think because of the way I handled uh, Greg's brigade over there. All right. I think those guys can immediately turn their attention over there. Really unfortunate those guys routed, but. The old. It is what it is. What are you guys doing? What on earth are you doing? Call it what you want it. Fall back, advance. I don't care what you call it, but move.
What on earth are you doing? What are you waiting for, man? Uh, still running for it. Looks like they might rally right there. Well, we'll do their kind of rally. Which is not really a rally. They just stop. What do I have to do to get these guys to move? I guess it was just time. All right. This is a very unusual maneuver. I'm not sure why they're not firing. See that weird cone of fire thing? I don't know what that's about. So now that they're done, uh, let's see here. Halt all of you. Yeah, we'll halt you too. We'll turn you guys over to them. Okay. Get you guys moving over there. Moving over there. And we'll have you move there. Alright. At this point, we start bringing up some of these guns. So they're not doing us any favors back there. shoot everything they have. Right. And that was that. And we've gone up to major victory. So I would expect, famous last words, should get some sort of notice pretty soon that the enemy is retreating. There it is. 
It's a pretty long retreat time. Um, but all right. Uh, to me, I don't see a great need to pursue here. And we've done two to one casualties. They've lost a lot of guns. Uh, and I'm not really sure that I'm going to be able to catch them. So sometimes you can take too many casualties in pursuit. And um, I don't feel like doing that. So I'll run out the clock here. That's right, because we did take this. It can fire. I wonder if any of these units we can can we get some skirmishers to grab those recently liberated guns run this through at 10 times speed don't expect much. All right. So yeah, just about two to one casualties. All right. Uh, that was kind of a win where I didn't really need one, but I also couldn't really stand to lose one. So, I, it's kind of one of those. You'll take it because the alternative is worse, but uh, it was not a big reverse in the center in which the Union has actually bolstered its, its pretty considerable lead, but I have as well, so what do we get? We only got eight guns. Bummer, considering they lost a bunch. But there it is, the Battle of St. Louis. So this army that was up here after getting beat early on, we'll go back to wherever it's going to go back to. Uh, this is the supply depot that Price was building to hopefully extend out here. We already took Cairo as it was, built a supply depot here with... Um, Chase's Florida State Militia because this this area I have found and we're working on another one this area into this area seems to be a dead zone of supply and so I was trying to get that up uh, with respect to the, the latest and greatest I mean now that Florida State Militia is being supplemented by the Western Army and the already large army of Tennessee be around 35 or 40,000 troops there. Uh, the Union, for its part, it, it does have armies here, but the new addition, it's it's a ways away, but it seems to have been making a beeline from, I, I think off camera, I made a play for Pittsburgh, and I almost got all of it, and then I saw this army right above it, and I was like, mm, nope. But I, I'm pretty sure that this... I don't, I don't know exactly where it's going. It did not stop to take Wheeling. So I guess it's not going to, to carve off West Virginia. But it looks like it's headed this way. And, you know, Eastern Kentucky buys me a little bit of time if that's the, the destination. My thinking, if you can be trusted not to, to tell the Union, is maybe make a play for Evansville, force the Department of Ohio, and then there are one or two other armies here. And actually, i got to move this squadron down. I stopped its patrolling because its readiness went down too much. And have at least these three armies, right, with about 35,000 men and maybe a mm, little bit less than maybe 75 guns, have them fight whatever comes. I, I doubt price would be available. And I've also found that this part of southern Illinois also tends to be kind of barren of, of supply. But uh, if we can get a favorable win here, that opens up the possibility of getting Kentucky. Over here in the east, I'm also kind of making a gambit that 
when I get all the armies together, the army of the Shenandoah joins this hodgepodge of armies here, I'm going to outnumber the Union. Uh, if only maybe slightly, but that those are kind of the chances you got to take right right now. Uh, the ratio isn't bad. I mean, I am down about 30,000 men, but the ratio isn't as bad as it's been in, in previous battles or previous periods in the war, but I, I think I have a decent chance to, to take them out of Washington, maybe maybe relieve some of the pressure on the, the center, and uh, that I mean, that's that's the plan, right? I'll, I'll take the attacks where I can. I'm not really uh, sitting around waiting for the, the Union to get the, their numbers up and steamroll me is not a great idea. In terms of policies and where that stands, I went for industrialization too. It's almost done. After that, I'm going to go for the Conscription Act so I get to keep the uh, experienced volunteers, veterans, and so forth that I have for three years. I don't even think I'll bother with the Militia Act at that point. Uh, this will take about a month. And then I think I'll probably look... I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'll look to Industrialization 3 or Agriculture 1. Uh, finances also could use help, as you can see by the 8 and 3 quarters percent interest rate. Uh, part of that may reflect growing numbers in the field and also that I, I outfitted everybody with slightly upgraded weapons. So anyways, that's where the campaign stands here in... What are we... Uh, middle of September 1861. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I uh, hope to have you back for the next one.